this term, we have been learning about some friends of Jesus. And today we are learning about another friend of Jesus. And his name is Philip. Um, excuse me, Annie, but uh, what are you doing? I'm hiding. Yeah, I can see that, but why? Why are you playing hide and seek? No. Are you hiding from your parents because you did something bad? No. Then what are you doing? Why don't you just come out and be a part of Kids Church? N no, I can't. My friends from school might see me. What if they were outside walking by? Or if they decide to come and eat in the cafe? What if they see me here at church? I can't let them see me here. I need to hide. So you're hiding from your friends so they won't know you go to church? Right. But what do you say when they ask you what you did on the weekend? Oh, uh, I just say I watch TV and stuff. <laughs> So, your friends don't know that you are a Christian? No way. I've seen them make fun of other Christians at our school. They say that believing in God is silly and that church is boring. I can't let them know I'm a Christian. I need to hide. I understand. You do? Yeah. It's not always easy to be a follower of Jesus. Sometimes, will get made fun of, and that can really hurt. Yeah. But hiding who we are and what we believe is not the answer. It's not. Nope. Imagine if you had a very best friend who you hung out with every day, but any time someone else comes along, they would ignore you and pretend they didn't know you. How would you feel? Angry and hurt and sad. That's how Jesus feels when we pretend we don't know him. And you know what? Everybody deserves to hear the good news about Jesus, even the people who might laugh first. How will they know about him if we hide it? So what should I do? Pray, talk to Jesus and ask him to give you courage and peace. Then just be honest. When someone asks you what you did on the weekend, tell them the truth. You never know, they might want to know more, just like the man in the story we're about to hear. Being a witness for Jesus is not an easy job, but it is the most important job there is. Welcome back boys and girls for another week at Kids Church. Today, we're gonna to be playing a different game. If you can see here, we've got a bowl of water and we've got a bunch of objects. We're going to be seeing if these things float. All right, I've got a door stop here. Do you think it will float? Scream out your answers, boys and girls. All right, I think it's going to float. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh no, it sinks. If you said it sinks, you're right. All right, I have a bowl now. Do we think it's going to float or sink? I think it's going to float. Shout out your answers, boys and girls. What do you think it's going to do? All right, let's see. Oh, it floats. All right, we better test out some more things. This is cool. I've got a fork here. Do you think it will float or sink? What are your answers? Oh, you think it's going to sink? Well, let's see if you're right. Oh, it's floating. That's pretty surprising. All right, here's our last one. It is a shell. Have you guys found any shells on the beach at all before? Well, let's see if this sinks or floats. Ready, shout out your answers. All right, I think it's gonna sink. Let's see. It floats. Well, boys and girls, that concludes our game for this week. See you next week. Bye. Last week, we learned about Barnabas. His story can be found in Acts, and that is where today's story comes from too. You can look it up in Acts 8 verse 26. It begins after Jesus went back to heaven. His followers were telling the good news far and wide, but they were being persecuted. Do you know what that means? 
Jesus' followers were being mistreated and abused. Some of them were even killed because of their faith. So what did they do? Did they hide and pretend not to know Jesus? Did they keep the good news to themselves so they would be safe? He was a friend of Jesus, just like us. God sent an angel to tell Philip to go to a desert road near Gaza. Did Philip say, nah, I think I'll hide out in my house where it's safe? Nope, he said, okay. Philip saw a chariot traveling down the road. God said, go to that chariot and stay near it. Did Philip say, nah, I don't know who's in that chariot. It might be someone mean. I'm going to stay here where it's safe. Nope, he said, okay. In the chariot, Philip saw a man from Ethiopia. He was an important man who served the queen and looked after the royal treasury. This man didn't know Jesus yet, but he was reading the book of Isaiah from the Bible, which speaks of a lamb who was sacrificed. Philip asked the man if he understood what he was reading, and the man said, how can I unless someone explains it to me? So what did Philip do? Did he say, sorry, I don't know anything about that stuff. Maybe someone else can help. Nope, he jumped right up into the chariot and told the man about Jesus. Philip didn't hide his faith. He was a friend of Jesus and he wanted everyone to know about the good news he had. What about us? Sometimes we may be tempted to hide the fact that we are Christians or to pretend that we don't go to church because our friends might not understand and we might be teased. It takes courage and faith to be a witness like Philip, but it's so important. The Ethiopian man gave his life to Jesus and was baptised because of Philip. How will someone's life be changed because of you? Thanks for listening, kids. See you next week.